Faisal Islam reporting. Well, now, football's governing body is facing a new corruption scandal, but one that appears rather advantageous to the controversial FIFA president, Sepp Blatter. An ethics inquiry is being launched into claims that four leading officials offered bribes for votes in the upcoming elections for the FIFA presidency. The four include Mohammed bin Hammam, who led Qatar's successful bid for the 220, 2022 World Cup. He's also challenging Sepp Blatter for the FIFA presidency. Mr. Bin Hammam completely denies any wrongdoing. FIFA itself is already trying to deal with separate corruption allegations over the bidding process for the World Cup. We're joined now by the former executive director of the Football Association, David Davis. Well, I mean, this has taken a completely absurd turn. Absurd, but very serious. I mean, this is, these are not allegations or smears, see, see them as you will, from uh, a former FA chairman in a country like England. These are not allegations or smears from former FIFA employees who might or might not have an axe to grind. They're not from dear old journalists. This is from, these are allegations from one of FIFA's own, a member of the executive committee and, and a long-standing ally of Jack Warner, the man who runs football in the Caribbean and North America. And who is one of the four being investigated. Absolutely, one of the one of the four being investigated. And but, but, but but I mean, what are, there's a contest on, as we've already mentioned, and that has to be voted on in what three or four weeks' time. Oh, in on June the first, days away. And there were people who warned that this contest would turn n nasty, and it seems to have done so. Well, I mean, you surely can't have a major investigation and a vote going on at the same time. John, this is FIFA. <laughs> um, and, you know, you have to... You, they are saying that they are going to investigate and hear from those who were accused on Sunday and presumably try to come to a decision. Now, even FIFA will find that pretty hard going, I think. There's no question of postponement of the contest. Well, there should be. And, of course, this, this is if England was more mm. influential within FIFA. Mm. I'm sure that England would and should be lead, leading a, the charge for that postponement. And, and, and is it strange that they're looking into these, uh, despite the fact that there's already Lord Treesman's allegations on the table? Well, the, these, as I say, are much more serious allegations because of where they come from. Mm. And I think even FIFA will be so, sorely distressed by, the, by these allegations. Where, where does this leave the FA? Because they have uh, uh, abstained. They're the only country on earth that has so far i mean my view of the abs of the abstention i realized how difficult the decision to was to take but i would would have been happy with an abstention if england then had immediately gone out to get 50 60 70 other countries to abstain as well and maybe that they should would start make now. a difference maybe they should start now but they haven't got long to go david davis thank you very much indeed for coming in